the key bit of this is, of course, that our, our well-being and our productivity fuel one another. You know, that yeah. if we feel well, we work well. If we work well, we get good feedback. We 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 do we do well, and 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 that's true. You know, across the spectrum. You know, in terms of of of, of, of all all scenarios and. What we know is that workplaces are much more cognizant about mental health and well-being. COVID-19 brought it to the forefront. We know that lots of organisations you know, really paid attention to staff well-being throughout the pandemic, um, doing those check-ins, um, thinking about well-being, asking about well-being. And we need that to continue um, you know, as we move into this next stage where, of course, work is changing again um, and you know, much more... Um, hybrid working, more flexible working. But we did some research um, last year which showed that about 50% of people have not had well-being check-ins in this recent bit. So even though mm -hmm. more people are having it, there are still too many people for whom their well-being is not being thought about as part of you know, everyday practice. And, and it's a line manager's responsibility to be you know, checking on the, the well-being of their staff. You know, it's a, an important part of making sure that people are well, able to be themselves at work and able to deliver.